Hello, I'm User Lou and uh, welcome back to Fallout 4. We are ready to head into the Institute for the first time. We just have to jump on the platform. Delicious. Paper's always handy. Hello. I wondered if you might make it here. You're quite resourceful. I am known as Fong. The Institute is under my guidance. I know why you're here. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Please, step into the elevator. experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy, and our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished, but for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are unstable. 
I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that could wait. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. You are here for your son. True, I suppose. Here for loot, too. Child's responses were not at all what I had to say. He's a protege, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional, and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am Father. Welcome. Father is my unofficial title. It's what I've come to mean to the people of the Institute. Just as... as you are a parent to your son. To Sean. Just... help me understand what's going on here. I promised answers. And answers you shall have. But I need you to realize that this situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been rewarded. It's good to finally meet you after all this time. It's me. I am Sean. I am your son. How is that even possible? I know this is a lot to take in. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the sun. You'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believe that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not 10, but 60 years? That is the reality, and here I am, raised by the Institute, and now it's later. But why? Why take a child? Why take you? Ah, now that's the question, isn't it? Why me? At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being. Walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. 
So the weird science experiments needed specimens. That's why they took you. In a manner of speaking, yes. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. <coughs> a source was necessary. But then the Institute found me after discovering records from Vault 111. Frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. Sean. It's really you. It really is. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. Up. Yes. What happened to him was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems what happened to him was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation, and that was that. With old age comes regret. And asking what if more often, but what matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. What else can I say to ease your mind? Kellogg. He worked for you. Kellogg. He was an institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. You knew the man was a psychopath, but you used him anyway? I don't expect you to understand or agree with the decision. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit that. Institute technology prolonged his life and his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan. He never failed the Institute, but his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you, us, to have some amount of revenge. What else can I say to ease your mind so, you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future. No matter what those above ground might think of. tried that. Surprise. The Institute once tried to help create a stabilized Commonwealth government. It ended in bickering, infighting. It was a disaster. No. We look after our own now. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen or heard, I know I can convince you of that. Just give me time. I know there's more for us to discuss, but the Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. 
I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? And I am sorry. You have been through so much in such a short time. The Institute can provide a better life than anything above ground. You've been in the Commonwealth. You've seen what it's like. I assure you that you are better off with us. I don't know what to do. I realize that. It's why I'm trying to help you. I hope that you can see that rationally. The Institute is the only thing left in the world that is worth being part of. I simply ask that you give the Institute, me, a chance. A chance to show you what I've been telling you. We really do have humanity's best interests at heart. Will you take that chance? Uh. All right. All right. Thank you. The Institute is now your home, as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. You'll want to introduce yourself to the Division Heads. Dr. Fillmore in Facilities. Dr. Ao in SRB. Dr. Holdrem in Bioscience. And finally, Dr. Lee in Advanced Systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them, and then we'll discuss what comes next. Alright, map updated. Almost done. Just need to tighten up this primary drive servo. That's the third primary drive breakdown this month. As far as I'm concerned, the phase out on these older models can't come soon enough. Oh, I don't know. Most of them have lasted long past their projected lifespans. If you ask me, they were built pretty well. Huh. I can't argue with that. Even so, I'm ready to see the full Gen 3 roll out. There we go. All set. Unit, you can return to duty. Thank you, ma'am. Thanks again. Of course. Our technology must seem pretty advanced by your standards. Doctor? We weren't kidding. We really are here. Well, all right. I'm Allie. Allie Phillips. You can think of me as the Institute's chief engineer. When Father told us about you, I could hardly believe it. You've been through so much, I think most people would have just given up. If you don't mind my asking, what was it that kept you going all that time? I just wanted to find my son. Keep him safe. Now that you've found him, I hope you're proud of the great man he grew up to be. No. I'll give you a quick rundown of the facilities division, and then I'll answer any questions you might have afterward. As you might guess, we keep the Institute's mechanical and electrical systems running smoothly. We maintain and upgrade all of the systems that make it possible to live and work in a place like this. There's a lot of machinery behind these walls that recycles the air and water, and provides power to the laboratories and quarters. The work we do might not be as exciting as some of the other departments, but it's at least as important. So. Now that you're here and you've spoken to Father, does that mean you're on board? Absolutely. Oh, good to hear. It'll be a load off Sean's mind. Take your time. Get yourself acquainted. There's a lot to take in. Plenty of things you won't find topside. If there's anything else you'd like to know about the facilities division, I'm happy to discuss it. I'm good for now. Thanks. Goodbye, then. Hey, it's me. So you're the one who sent the encrypted message. How did you even do that? I wasn't sure anyone on the surface would have a chance to crack Trinity. You know. The encryption algorithm. 
friend named Tinker Tom cracked your encryption. He must have had some serious hardware to pull that off. Wow, your message was only one word. Friend. What did you mean by that? The railroad sent me to look for someone they call Patriot. That's you. What? The railroad? As in THE railroad. And they gave me a code name too? I kept sending sins to the surface hoping someone would help them. I hoped the railroad got to some of them, but I never knew for certain. You've saved a lot of sins. So much to take in. But wait, with you in the picture, I have this idea. To rescue a lot of sins at once. But we'll need help. Where's he working now? Right. Let's go to the West Atrium. Probably best to talk about something else right now. You know my father thinks it's a living hell on the surface. But that can't be right. Heck, you look positively normal to me. Uh, no offense. I'm not sure if we could ever make the surface actually a decent place to live. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't at least try to help. She's a friend. She's with the railroad. Meeting here is dangerous. If you bring a stranger, how do I know you can trust me? Because the members of the railroad have dedicated their lives to fight for your freedom. I find that hard to believe. That's what the railroad does, Z1. She's from the surface. If you insist we speak in front of her, do so quickly. Right now. How many synths want to escape, you want The ones I know for certain? Thirteen. That'll take forever. Let's free those thirteen all in one go. I would do anything for my people. But how do we get them to the teleporter? It's no good. The old maintenance tunnels that lead there are always sealed. By the SRB. Hmm. If I can find a way to open those doors, could you get your synths to the teleporter room? Yes. We'll talk later. Someplace more secure. Just a few by security doors, right? Controlled by cutting edge SRB security tech. Yeah. A head on hack is the sucker play. So we go at them sideways. You're willing to help, right? I can't do this alone. Of course I'll help you. Our core security architecture hasn't fundamentally changed from the old CIT days. The original security program was called Code Defender. Revolutionary stuff. We still have terminals running version 1, mothballed in storage. With some persuasion, I can get an old terminal to interface with the new security terminals. Enough to open doors, at least. Problem is, I can't even crack version 1. So I need a good old-fashioned username and a password. And that's nowhere to be found in the Institute. But if you could get me a pre-war admin password from the surface, I could log right in. I'll find it for you. That's great. Unfortunately, the obvious place to look won't work. The CIT ruins were picked clean years ago, but some of the admins had to live off campus. Ask your friends in the railroad. I need those login credentials. All right. Greetings. As the Institute's requisition vendor, I can provide supplies for your missions on the surface. How may I assist you today? Let's see what you got. Ah, uh, yes, yes. The plasma rifle. It's actually tempting. Let's see. 
to a ham. Now I can sell these. That's a lot of money. Sell some of these, huh? money for much else. Tell him that I intend to speak to Father about these unannounced security sweeps of yours. Ransacking my quarters in the middle of the night is totally unacceptable. I'll pass along your message, Doctor. See that you do. <laughs> Our new sense are so lifelike, I keep mistaking them for real people. Welcome to the Institute, ma'am. Nothing to report, ma'am. Targeting package upgrades I asked for. Maybe I We're should take some courses with, with me. Working with the ocean. Always be vigilant. Please don't. We have many enemies. There's enough friction as it is between us and pretty much all the other departments. You going soft on me, Alana? My methods get results, and you will this time as well. You'll see. If the robotics division was a little more careful, we wouldn't have synths trying to escape. Like any machine, a synth so, can malfunction. I just wish it are. didn't happen so just often. Just Acting Director of the Synth Retention Bureau. I'll be upfront with you. We're going to be keeping a close eye on you for the near future. Despite your relation to Father, you're a bit of an unknown quantity. I'm sure you understand. There won't be any issues, will there? No problems here. Good to hear. Now, Father has asked that I provide you with a brief overview of the Synth Retention Our primary responsibility is the recovery of escaped synths that are hiding among the human population of the surface. I'm sure it's best for everyone if the synths remain here. Certainly. We can't allow sophisticated institute technology to fall into our hands. The results could be disastrous. Our main instrument is the Courser, a third-generation synth assigned to operate on the surface. Coursers hunt down and declaim synths that have escaped the institute. They are highly self-sufficient. Trained in combat, infiltration, and tracking. In a word, our coursers are relentless. But I gather you know all this, since you've encountered it already. In fact, I'd very much like to know how you defeated it. I'm no stranger to combat. Even so, a courser should be more than a match for a single combatant. I suppose I'll have to ask robotics to perform detailed diagnostics on the entire production line. Now, unless you need something else, I'll get back to work. I'm good for now. Thanks. Very well. Ooh. Got all this stuff. Mm -hmm.
intriguing. Sell the weapons. <laughs> sell them their own guns, why not? Operator at full capacity. No visible reaction to a two fourteen combat. We'll start with this job. Get those in the start. She's just doing it for fun. Rush work is sloppy at best and deadly at worst. Hey, Doc. Hmm? Oh, hi there. Sorry if I seem distracted. I memorized five sets of design schematics and now I'm doing detailed mental comparisons. That's amazing. Oh, well, a lot of us do that. Anyway, I'm glad you're here. I just wanted to say how much I admire Father, and that it's an honor to meet you. I really hope you'll stay here with us. Oh. That was productive. I am hungry and thirsty again. Have some red scorpion because it's so delicious. I know who you are. We all do. While I'm sure Father is very happy that you're here, I do hope it doesn't interrupt our work. Don't worry. I promise I won't get in your way. Thank you. I do appreciate that. Oh, before I forget, let me see that pit boy of yours. I've been told to install a coarser chip in it for you. Father's orders. You're to be given full access, with the ability to relay in and out of the Institute at will. Thank you. I'm sure that will come in handy. Given that the relay is the only way to access the Institute, handy is something of an understatement. In case the significance is lost on you, you'll be the only one here with that kind of access. If nothing else, it should demonstrate the amount of trust Father has placed in you. Now, unless there's something else, I really do need to get back to work. I'm good for now. Thanks. All right. Father has accomplished so much. I hope you. that going, so I've had to put everything else to one side. I wonder how the Warwick family is doing. Young Wally must be close to ten years old by now. It's remarkable that any child can survive for so long up there, don't you think? I... I try not to think too much about it. We have more than enough to occupy ourselves here. Those people are the last remnants of a dying past. It's best not to dwell on the subject. They're still people, and they're suffering. We can at least admit that it's regrettable. After all, how can we hope to redefine mankind if we can't even hold on to our own humanity? 
Well, that's a question best left to our colleagues in the robotics division. Yes, well... I suppose you're right. Dr. Carlin's doing some amazing things with our genetically engineered crops. Hi, Doc. Welcome. So good to have you here. Dr. Clayton Holdren, head of the Bioscience Division. I can't wait for you to see the work we're doing. It's truly amazing. I look forward to learning more about it. In that case, let me give you a brief overview of what we do here. As the name implies, the Bioscience Division specializes in fields of study such as botany, genetics, and medicine. Our most important directive is to ensure the health and well-being of everyone in the Institute. To that end, we cultivate highly specialized breeds of flora for use in food and medicine. We've even started to explore the idea of synthetic animal life. You probably saw the gorillas. They're really just a pet project at this point, but the potential is exciting nonetheless. Seems like there's nothing you guys can't do. Hard work and ingenuity? Any challenge can be overcome. I'm sure I've taken up enough of your time as it is. But I have to ask, have you decided whether you'll join us? I'm not sure how well I'll fit in, but I'd like to give it a try. Great. I was hoping you'd say that. In any case, I imagine you'll want to continue looking around. Or, if you prefer, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. Is there anything I can do to help out? I think Dr. Carlin was looking for help with one of his experiments. You should talk to him. Excuse me, Doctor. Well, well. If it isn't our visitor from the past, some time ago, we covertly replaced the family patriarch at Warwick Homestead with a synth. He's been field testing a variety of genetically modified seeds that I created. Take this packet of seeds to the Roger Warwick synth. Be careful with these. They represent years of genetic manipulation and enhancement. Hopefully you can manage such a simple task. It won't be a problem. I trust that it won't. Now listen closely because this next part is vitally important. When Roger asks how your trip was, tell him some blood bugs chased you halfway across the Commonwealth. That code phrase will identify you as an agent of the Institute. Also, you must be discreet. Do nothing to draw attention to yourself or raise suspicion. I understand. Now hurry on to Warwick Homestead so we can begin the experiment. Yeah, whatever. Norman's lecture on cold fusion was nothing short of a revolution.
Church of Rugged. Saltron in here. Virgil's Laboratory. And we want this. Of course, to give it to him, I have to go all the way back to the corner of the map. But I guess it could be worse. Hey. 
Dr. Watson doesn't think I'm Institute material. Alright, you do that, Chief. Father does occasionally wander, so... Now that you've had a chance to see the Institute firsthand, what do you think? You've got technology here that I never dreamed possible. It's amazing. I'm glad you can appreciate what we've accomplished. None of it has been easy. Ultimately, all our knowledge and resources are focused on a single goal. The goal is best summarized by our model. Mankind. Redefined. Unfortunately, no advancement comes without occasional setbacks. As remarkable as our synths are, they can be... dangerous without proper supervision. The superior synth mind and body attempting to wrestle with something approaching free will can be a recipe for chaos. If the synths are intelligent and self-aware, then they have a right to free will. However closely they may approximate human behavior, they are still our creations. When you see what I have to show you, I think you'll agree that we know what is best for our synths. A rogue Sith has taken over the Raider Gang at Libertalia. His memories have been erased, and his identity altered. He believes he's a man named Gabriel. Under his leadership, the Raiders have taken many innocent lives. I've dispatched a courser to Libertalia. I'd like you to join him and reclaim that Sith. We'll bring that Sith home. That would be best for everyone. Now you should get moving. Many people are in danger, and a delay could cost lives. All right. High speed cows. Uh oh, traffic jam. Wait, there are three provisioners and only two cows? Uh -huh.
keep that. I'll just put it away for a little bit. Diamond City and sell this extra stuff we have. And go over and talk to Dez. has been sanitized. Ownership of the surgery has reverted to me. I hope you'll give us another chance. Catch me up, Doc. Now, go over your symptoms. One at a time. I'm pretty beat up. Uh, you look fine, but... Oh, wait. Yeah, that's gonna need to be set back in place. Let's get started. Complaints? I feel a lot better. Glad to hear it. I need 
anything else? No. We're done. All right. Don't ruin my hard work by dying out there. Far too busy to talk right now. I'm hey, Arturo. You know, a shotgun's great insurance against raiders, but I got a lot of options here. Sure. Let's take a look. Don't forget to stock up on ammo. Visit our friends at the railroad. I'd like to know who keeps setting up these mannequins.
boat. Stag parts are just flying away. I was power napping and whammo, it hit me. Got some ideas on how to kid out deliver. Make your super bad ass gun even more. Well, more. So check out my stuff. Let's take a look. Okay, here's what I got. He has a CR74. Sounds 
certain yesterday. It is really, really good to see you. Did it work? Did you make it inside the Institute? The signal interceptor worked. I've been to the Institute and back again. I almost can't believe it. In Tom's hollow thing, did you make contact with Patriot? I met Patriot. His name is Liam Benet. I knew you'd get the job done. We need every scrap of intel you picked up in there. Write up a full report on Pam's terminal. After you're done, we'll analyze it and figure out the next step. Get to it. Nah. Up there, assume you're being watched. Always. Make sure you have a call. It's all our right. Confirming presence of Rogue Ferry. data. There are three independent reports of Corsair activity. Analysis completed based on target's activity pattern, location, and suspected trajectory. Conclusion. The Institute is actively looking for railroad assets. Stop gap solution. Terminate Corsair threats whenever possible. Seems logical to me. This unit's logic circuits are fully functional. Target designated Corsair Alpha is in a defended location with lower generation synth targets. Eliminate Corsair variable, leaving no survivors. End of discussion. Uh -huh. Contact Dr. Amari. She'll have more details on the route. Uh -huh. Testimony. Contact Dr. Amari. She'll have more details on the route. security software cross indexing CIT security administrators with 2077 Commonwealth census records filtering by surviving structures one match found Bergman Wilfred Bergman Wilfred registered as co-owner of Cambridge polymer labs estimated 81 percent chance of login credentials being located at this facility. Thanks, Pam. Compliment detected. Analysis? Irrelevant. After you get the password report back here. With any luck, we'll have a game plan by now. I suppose you're here for my medical stuff. Nope. Shut up, character. Well, I guess it's back Hangman's Alley. Since what am I doing? I should be able to travel to the Institute. And then back to the CIT room. You're here. I'm glad you made it. Hanging around today. Does 
not appear so. Right over here. Oh, no it is. We'll end it up here since it seems like a good spot. Go. Oh, of course. Yummy. Delicious. Delicious. Alright. Let's jump back in here. So we've been to the uh, institute, and now we have some stuff to do for the railroad. Well, but for now, I'm usually loose, and this has been Fallout 4, and I'll see you later. Bye.